What up, what up, Wimbush here. And today I'm excited to show you guys how we can make 3D items scanning objects like this, like this, and even like my little arcade machine down here. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. Now I'm sure everybody by now has seen Luma AI. It's using this technology called Nerf to be able to take anything and scan it into a 3D object. So using nothing but my iPhone 11, which you see right here, I was able to scan stuff like my boxing glove, like my actual plane, and this arcade machine that I have here. So for the first one, I actually took my boxing glove, my custom Grant boxing glove outside, and I just wanted to see if I can actually scan this and get a good scan out of it. And you can see my setup was pretty simple. So I had a bar stool, I had a couple of books, I had some printer paper, I even had a box from my VR headset, and I put the boxing glove on top. Now I printed out some grids there because I thought maybe the grid will help it align because just a photogrammetry, that type of stuff actually helps out. But with Nerf technology, I don't think it really mattered at all. And so I just went around, I used freeform mode. I walked around my boxing glove. I was able to scan it after a couple of minutes there. And once it feels like it has enough photos in there, it will actually upload everything to the website. It's gonna take a few minutes and then you'll be able to check it out there. So if I'm looking at the Luma AI website right now, you can actually see, this is my boxing glove. First, it shows you the video that it takes surrounding the glove. And then if you hit that little cube down there in the lower right hand corner, this is actually gonna be the 3D object that is showing there. And what you can see right here, it's actually pulling off a really good 3D scan here. Like when I did photogrammetry, I got something really close to it, but just for using the iPhone, like my photogrammetry, I was using my Canon camera, something professional, took a lot of photos. But with this, I just walked around my boxing glove, a few rotations. It took around two minutes and I was able to get something like this now looking back at it If I looked underneath my glove, you can see there are some holes So I would probably get a little bit lower next time to get some of those gaps in there and fill those in But I would say for my first pass This is actually really impressive considering the lighting situation that I had outside now for my second test I actually took something that has a lot of reflective and shine on it I have my Mike Wazowski cup here with my plant in here and I just wanted to see it was able to actually pull everything off because I know there's going to be a lot of reflections in here and even with the plant with the translucent leaves and everything in here I was really curious if I'd be able to get this because I've tried this with photogrammetry in the past and it didn't work and so for this situation I actually took it out into my garage where I have an overhead light hanging down it's able to shine down and kind of give it a little bit more balanced lighting even though this is highly reflective I was able to walk around same technique I'm using in the freeform mode and I'm just walking around my item there for a couple of minutes and this is the result that we got now this one is really impressive because I wasn't sure how it was going to act especially with the reflection and I had that grid paper down that was multi-colored so as I was walking around my object there I actually did notice that it was picking up a lot of the reflection off my grid paper but as you can see inside the scan here it actually pulled it off really well I can actually pull in pull out I see the chip on the cup and everything and it looks really good which I was really impressed by now for the third and final test I actually take my mini arcade machine here I have this pac-man machine which I've absolutely not been able to scan this in the past whether it's use a photogrammetry or even an actual scanner I just for whatever reason this doesn't pick up but I wanted to put it to the test and so for this one I actually took it back out to my garage I like the lighting situation out there and I put it on top of the yoga mat there that didn't have any type of reflective grid or anything on there and I thought maybe just that plain color would actually be able to help it scan a lot better and so I walked around and as I was walking around I did notice I was getting a lot of highlights up from my light up top and then I have another light behind my car there and I was getting really nervous because all that specular was actually picking up when I was walking around with my camera there but as you can see, once I was done and everything uploaded, I actually got a really good scan out of this, in which I'm really impressed with this. So I'm going to experiment with Nerf stuff here in the future and actually start using this stuff inside of my projects. And so just a quick guide on how I actually use this. So like I was saying before, you just need an iPhone or an iPad. An iPad will work as well. As long as it's an iOS device, I don't think it's on Android yet, but who's to say that it's not coming. And so going down into my phone here, all you have to do is kind of point it at your object right here. And we have a couple of modes here. This is guided and freeform. Now, when you did guided, I actually didn't get good results out of it. The best results that I got was actually using freeform. So down here in the lower right hand corner, 
I would just click on freeform and then you would just walk around your object and you have this little blue circle in there and it's going to tell you to walk slow but if you're walking a little bit fast you'll notice that it will turn yellow and have like this little motion blur on there you just want to walk as slow as you can take your time with it and you'll want to make sure that you're actually looking at the top right hand corner where it says finish you can hit finish anytime you want, but you want to make sure that it says green finish in the top right hand corner. And that means that it has enough data to acclimate anything that you scan. So again, you could go maybe around just a couple of times and you can hit finish, but you're going to get the best results if you just keep going until it turns green. So I know recently I saw online that they actually have a plugin that will allow you to do scans and bring them into Unreal Engine 5, which I'm going to test out next. I'm probably going to go hiking and take this on the trail with me and try to scan the entire woods area and maybe up on a hiking trail as well and see what kind of results that I get. So if you enjoy this type of technology and you want to see more of it, make sure you leave me a comment down below. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. And until next time, stay fresh, keep creating, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. I'll see you soon. Take care.